Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, Man Mike, coming at you guys with yet another segment of Axe Man Mike. And if you're new to the channel, you already know what to do, man. Hit that subscribe button. Support your boy. I'm on the quest to 4,000. 4,000 subscribers, man. So help your boy out. Just hit that subscribe button, man. But here is a question from d -Tai. My question is, why the hell do you not, not seeing the field? Look, man, this is a great question. That's something that we've been trying to figure out from the very beginning. When the Atlanta Falcons signed Tyler Davidson. Now, Tyler Davidson is off. He is a one-tech. One-tech is just short for no tackle, run stuff. He guards, defends the run. And this should not also defends the run, all right? He is not a pass-rushing defensive tackle. He is a guy, when you look at his combine numbers and you look at, you know, him being drafted, you try to figure out why did the Falcons take him again? He's not really quick. He's not really fast. He's not a compliment to Grady Jarrett. Um, and he's not prototypically a Dan Quinn defensive tackle. And look, I'm just going to be honest, bro. I don't think this is Dan Quinn's guy anyway. This is not his guy. It was never his guy. And ultimately, the reason why the Atlanta Falcons drafted Deuce or not, because they was afraid. They were just afraid. This wasn't a Dan Quinn guy to begin with. Dan Quinn prefers guys who can get upfield, who can do the multitude of things. And when you look at Deuce or not, Deuce or not can't rush the passer. It really is that simple. He can't get after the quarterback. And when you compare him with Tyler Davidson, who is just not making any mistakes, he is consistent, and he is a run stuffer, and he's doing a great job of it. Allen Bailey, another guy who's doing a great job of it. There's so many guys on this roster that's just better than this and not right now. He's not going to take snaps away from Crawford. He's not going to take snaps away from Davis. And he's not going to take snaps away from even Kaminsky at this point. John Kaminsky is a guy who can come in um, inside. You know, who can come in third down and rush the pass from, from the inside. So there's not a lot of room for Davis not to play. Who you go? Who who is go, who's going to come in and take his spot? Like who who is Davis not is going to come in to replace? Tyler Davidson, he's not going to take him out of the game, especially in base formations. He's not going to take Grady Jarrett out of the game. And you're not going to put Davidson tonight at defensive end. <laughs> That's something you're not going to do. So when you look at it, Davidson not, it's just, I'm just going to be honest, man. He just isn't a Dan Quinn guy. And, and, and to a certain extent, and even more so, I just think he was a reach. And Dan Quinn never wanted Dederson not to begin with. This was all this was all Thomas Dimitrov. And we all I've made videos. Okay, I made a video, a recent video. This is my rant on Thomas Dimitrov, okay? In fact, this question is on that very video. Thomas Dimitrov has made a a, a, a long list of horrible decisions when it comes to defensive line. Almost every single move outside of Grady Jarrett, the Falcons have absolutely, absolutely made horrible decisions. Horrible decisions. You go back to Ray Edwards, okay? Signing Ray Edwards. Brooks Reed. Brooks Reed, you, you gave him what? 30, I think it was like 30 million, five years, 30 million or something like that to be to come in. Like, we're talking about we giving these guys big time money. I mean, the only one that I, I think that came close to really um, working was Dontari Pope. And that was for one year. And you didn't resign him. Now he's up in Carolina. He's on the injury reserve list, but. This is just the stuff that I'm talking about for years. Parade Jerry. Do I have to remind you guys of Parade Jerry? Parade Jerry. So many other guys. 
You know, Tack McKinley is playing well. Vic Beasley, you know, he's done okay. I mean, outside of the one year where he was the NFL sack leader, that, that was it. But outside of that, we haven't seen a lot of success as it pertains to Thomas Dimitrov and the defensive line. He is an absolute mess. So when you look at Atlanta Falcons fans, man, the reason why Deuce is not, is not seeing the field is just because Dan Quinn never wanted him to begin with. This is all Thomas Dimitrov. And for me, this signifies an internal struggle. Dan Quinn is not getting the guys that he wants. He's getting trash. He's getting free agents. And I don't want to call Alan Bailey trash, but this is the only one that Dan Quinn really got that panned out somewhat. He came to the Atlanta Falcons because he had a relationship with Sutton, Bob Sutton, and he came because of Dan Quinn, not Thomas Dimitrov. He said that in his, when, when he was signed. Bailey came here because of Dan Quinn. But Dan Quinn is not getting his guys. He's not getting his guys in the draft. He's not getting his guys in free agency. He's getting a bunch of trash, man. And he's having to develop trash. And like I said, I don't want to disrespect the players to call them trash, but this is exactly what he's getting. He's not getting the cream and the crop. He's not getting the guys that he wants. And like I said, when we look at Deuce and not sitting on the bench, getting absolutely no playing time, when the Falcons defensive line has been so up and down, there is an internal struggle. This is why the Atlanta Falcons, what, 3-8, 3-9? This is the reason why we're struggling. Internal war between Dan Quinn and Thomas Dimitrov. That is the only way that you can justify drafting Deuce and not and him not seeing much any. He's not seeing any, okay, any playing time. He's not seeing any playing time. This guy's yet to see the field, dog. He's yet to be active. Okay, this guy's it was his second, third year, and he has not played. He's in his second year, and he hasn't played this year. What do we do that at? What do you do that at? Just a waste of a draft pick. So this is the reason why. And until this changes, until this changes, Falcons fans. We're going to continue to struggle. Until Thomas Dimitrov or Dan Quinn is gone, and preferably, I want Thomas Dimitrov out of here. Okay? I just want him gone. He's just not getting it done. Until that happens, we're going to continue to see these things happen. So let me know what you guys think about this, man. Continue to get your questions out there. Ask Matt Mike. Your boy, Matt Mike, is out, man. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And I have uh, info, more content in the card. So you guys can check that out right up top. But your boy, Matt Mike, is out, man. Peace.